Here at the Stockbridge Landing, officials keeping tabs on the quality and quantity of fish coming out of this side of the lake say they're impressed by what they've seen this weekend. At the Harbor Bar Registration Station, officials say at least 95 sturgeon have passed through since Sunday afternoon. We have eight fish here uh, after two days that are over 100 pounds. I think the largest on the lake was registered here too at 155 pounds. But even the fish under 100 pounds have been really in fantastic shape. We've had a lot of fish in that, you know, 70, 80, 90 pound range. Spearers like Derek Miner of Burnsville, Minnesota. Oh, my grandfather grew up in Stockbridge. He has been telling me about it since I grew up. Making memories on his first successful spear throw with this 62 inch 53 pound beauty. It was actually the first fish I've seen down the hole. I haven't seen minnows, I haven't seen anything, so I was skeptical of whether there was fish in the lake. Officials say it's a promising sign for the sturgeon population on day two of this 16 day season. So whether it's gizzard shad or whether it's red worms or any other forage items, they seem to be doing well and they've been able to put on some good weight um, and are plumped up. They have a very good what's called condition factor to them this year. Searching for the next trophy. Now reaching that official sturgeon quota isn't the only thing that could close the spearing season down early. Officials say elements like strong wind and warm temperatures could also have a say in when this season comes to an end. Reporting from Stockbridge, keeping you connected, Billy Wagness, NBC 26.